about the acid hydrolysis of esters. Now we're going to learn about a base hydrolysis of esters. Okay, so we learned in an acid hydrolysis, we're breaking the ester bond to reform the carboxylic acid and the alcohol that we use to make it. In a base hydrolysis, we're also going to break the ester linkage, but we're going to do this with a strong base. So with a base hydrolysis, we're actually producing a carboxylate salt and an alcohol. We're not reforming the carboxylic acid. This reaction is also called saponification. If you use a long chain fatty acid or a long chain carboxylic acid, um, and this is what we would use to make soap. The type of soap that you form depends on the base that's used. So if we use potassium hydroxide as our strong base, you're going to wind up with liquid soap. And if you use sodium hydroxide as your base, you'll wind up with a solid soap. So let's take a look at an example of this reaction. All right. Of course, we picked a very complex example with a long chain. Three. Okay, so here is our ester, and here is our water. We're going to do this in the presence of sodium hydroxide. And remember that um, sodium hydroxide in water is going to dissociate, so we're going to have sodium ions, we're going to have hydroxide ions, just something to keep in the back of your mind. We will be breaking this bond, okay? So we're going to reform a carboxylic, um, carboxylate anion. Okay. We'll wind up with an O from the water, the negative charge. And we will wind up with the sodium cation. Okay. So this particular reaction has a couple intermediate steps. And if you guys are interested, this is something I'd be happy to go over in class to understand why we're pulling an oxygen from water and why we're getting the sodium from there. Those intermediate steps will help to show that. But for now, this is what you would have to be able to reproduce on a quiz or a test, knowing that we're going to form a carboxylate salt. So that's the metal with the carboxylate anion. And we are also going to reform an alcohol. So i um, going to write that in purple to keep the colors consistent. So I'm just going to write this exactly how it was written over there. Okay. Um, and there's your O. Okay. So we've reformed the alcohol. It's a three carbon alcohol. So this would be two propanol or isopropyl alcohol and the carboxylate salt is sodium one two three propanoate for the IUPAC name All right, for our word equation, we have methyl benzoate reacting with potassium hydroxide. So I'm going to draw methyl benzoate, which is OCH3. It's a single carbon um, on the single carbon on the alcohol portion of the ester. That's going to react with water, and it's also going to react with potassium hydroxide. Remember that these dissociate in water. Okay, sometimes you'll see this written over the arrow. Sometimes it won't be. It'll all be written in line with each other. Okay, so we know that we are going to break this ester bond. Okay, and our OH is going to add here. So it actually reforms your carboxylic acid, but that's not a big concern because then we'll lose the hydrogen, which is why our oxygen comes from water. Okay, that is not something that you have to carry with you. You don't have to know where these things come from when you're drawing them. You just have to be able to draw the correct product. But I'm going to keep the colors consistent for you. 
Okay, so we took on the OH, then we donated the proton, and we have a charge of a minus one. That will attract our potassium with the plus one charge, and there is our carboxylate salt. Okay, um, this alcohol group is going to take on a proton as well. So now we have colors consistent. So now we've reformed methanol or methyl alcohol. And to practice naming this carboxylic salt, this is potassium. And we start with the carboxyl name, so this would have been benzoic acid. Becomes benzo 8. Again, I know that we have a lot of colors going on here. We're not seeing the intermediate reactions. Just know that your ester bond is broken and you're gonna form a carboxylate salt, which requires a negative charge on your oxygen, a positive charge on your potassium, and you're gonna reform the alcohol.